so cute. Evelyn! Let everybody see you. Let everybody see you. You're too fat to get up here, huh? I gotta get closer to the camera. All right. So this is Evelyn. Oh, you can't see. It's Evelyn. Evelyn. All right. Evelyn, watch the video and narrate, okay? Very friendly right, talk about and the very dog. easy to work Go. around. You're not going to say nothing? This is a bit of a learning tool Ow! to show them how to no get around the dog. What the dog looks like. It's actually a <laughs> Yo, what's good, team? Today... A request a video once again, Canadian Mounties. That's that's what y'all told me. So I found this basic training video. We're gonna see how it goes. What is a Mountie? Question of the day. Canadian Mountie is like federal law enforcement. So to us, that would be like, what, the FBI? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If it's gonna be harder than anything we've seen before or what do you, it's gonna be easier. I think it's gonna be, if I'm being honest, way easier. You think of Canada and you think of like the most peaceful country in the world. I think it's gonna be of like a bunch of like yelling and then they're gonna be like, Sorry, eh? Because that's what you see in all the movies. So I don't know what to think. We'll see how it goes. I actually just ended the video, but I'm filming this part right now to say subscribe to the channel. If you like the videos, like the videos. If you don't fucking dislike this shit, I don't care. Have fun watching it now. It's already over with. Bye. All right. Nunez, in what year did we become the Royal Canadian Mounted Police? I was 1920. A... Really? That's what you're going to give me? That's as loud as you can be. 1920. My goodness. <laughs> right off the bat, it's like he's having a panic attack. He's like, 1920. She's like, really? Is that the best? He's like, 1920. <laughs> I thought they had more of like an accent, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong, I guess. God forbid the day you have to yell at someone, stop police, drop the knife, because they're coming at you with an ass. What is in her hand? The fucking ass beating stick, bro? Holy shit, do y'all see this thing in her armpit? Dude, that looks rough. That's probably like when they fuck up or step out of place, they're like, ah! Because they're coming at you with an edged weapon. There's no whispering. There's no room for meek and mild in this jaw. It, it literally looks like he's shaking. It's the police! Let's go! The Mounties! Count it up! Let's mark. They mount super hard. Some would say harder than Navy, but I don't know. It's just what I heard. They remind me of like Highway Patrol. Damn. These cadets are trained to become members of the Royal Bro, marching his ass off. Police. More commonly known as oh, the those are clean. Those outfits are clean as fuck. I could not imagine wearing that all day. Like it looks like it's made of like wool almost. I'd be like itching all day. I'd be like. <laughs> Get on the fucking ground. Comment down below if you like these uniforms more than Marine Corps dress uniforms. Ooh, that's what it's kind of like reminding me of a little bit right now. All the Marine Corps people in the comments are like, no, you dumb fuck, we're one of a kind. But before they don the iconic scarlet tunic known as the Red Surge, fuck that. I don't want to wear that, bro. graduate from the RCMP's 26 week training program, Marching. which combines intense tactical training with customs Holy and traditions. God. To the queen. That are to the queen. In Canadian history. Every Bro. year, about. I wonder if I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this. The uniforms are giving me like Nazi vibes. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Like, especially that little dinner party there. <laughs> Thousand cadets graduate from the academy okay. before joining the twenty thousand RCMP cool. officers serving across the country. Okay. On a bitterly cold week in December, we spent five days at the academy. Five days, that's all where we that's saw all different getting? troops at various stages of the 26 week training program. <sighs> this shit better be hard, bro. A new troop is welcomed by the academy's commanding officer. No, Everybody no. wants you to be successful. What the fuck? We're incredibly happy that you're finally sitting in these seats as members of Troop 29, and we want you Z to be successful. That, that's the accent I was talking about. We want you to be successful, eh? Okay? A little nerdy, a little nerdy voice. But we're not going to do it for you. You have for to you, do eh? it for yourselves. The application for yourselves, eh? process. Sometimes see cadets go home after 24 oh, hours. Oh, oh, oh my. Hey, let's find this man. Can take about eight and months. thank him for Everybody not only his service now, if he makes it through the Canadian police, we sometimes but also for being comfortable enough to go on the insider television shit with the fucking receded hairline that is, you know, on the top of his fucking head. Hey, y'all in the comments, let me know, has anybody ever tried out for the Canadian Mounties? For a constable in the I know RCMP I got Canadians to be following me, so what's up? A year. 
after three years, it increases to about 86,000. Applicants must be at least 86, 19 000. years old and willing to relocate anywhere in Canada, including remote provinces like Yukon oh. and Nunavut. Okay, that's kind of, uh, for a second I was tripping because I'm thinking it's like the regular like municipal and county police, but apparently, once again, this is federal. Dope. The Royal Canadian Bro, he came up, he's like, <laughs> he went by the horse, he's like, hey, hey, all these sheep belong to you? Get him out of here, eh? Today oh, was found oh they be getting hoes, okay. The Canadian Rockies. <laughs> Although they're called Mounties, the RCMP isn't a mounted police force. And horses are only used for ceremonial events. We're not what you see. In that's the, the most terrible so thing I've People ever seen. See red jackets, pointy hats on black oh horses, and they think that's what the RCMP is. But we're police officers first and foremost, and I think that's probably the biggest misconception. So I'm assuming that's like that's it. Like that's like you're a basic police officer. Canada also has like the CSIS, which is like the Canadian Security Intelligence Service. So I'm assuming that's your guys' FBI component. Let me know down below in the comments. I'm I'm, in a, I'm trying to interact with the comments more, so that's what you're gonna hear me say. I'm down in the comments, fucking, fucking a hundred times. In this video. Depo. I need you to stand up. You're under arrest for assault with a weapon. Where most of the training is focused on mastering. All right, to all my police officers up in here, can you imagine doing that? Being that chill? Someone just assaulted somebody with a weapon? Hey, I'm here to arrest you really quick. Um, We know you just killed about 15 people. Can you just get up from your bowl of cereal, please? Fuck that shit. You're all crazy. <laughs> Canadian Mounties just don't care, bro. <laughs> Fucking savages. Procedure practiced in realistic scenarios. That is not a realistic scenario. Where cadets play the roles of both the officer and the suspect. You got suspect. ten bosses up in there, John. Anything that you do say to me can be used as evidence. Do you understand? Yeah, I just want okay. you to learn I messed up. I didn't mean to. I'm not that type of person. Shut up! Okay. Policing isn't an easy profession. We make the policing is not an easy profession. Shout out to all law enforcement out there. Physically and mentally prepared. Oh, dude, look at the way he fucking... A boy should join the Navy, bro. He said, oh, is that some hard wood up there? Bro, let me just fucking cradle it. <laughs> bro. Common sense. They have to know their powers of arrest. They have to know the law. Male and female cadets train together at depot. Okay. They face each other in police defensive <laughs> tactics training, or PDT. <laughs> Obviously, in policing, we don't choose our opponents. Fuck the We're gloves, not going to be bro. always uh, be matched with a normal size like you would see in a sport. Taxes at female. Hey, let's go. Hair. Let's go. Most of our cadets come here. Without... I guarantee you she's a real fucking badass. Cadets are faced with additional disadvantages. Sometimes they're only allowed to use one hand, or they're only allowed to use legs. Your arm's strikes. gone. Your leg's gone. <laughs> requires one combatant to spin around everyone get dizzy now go 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 circles but with punches flying minor hey. injuries do occur there we go sometimes some things like that happen we try to mitigate that as much as we can so it's almost a good thing that he can i'll be in their head button so everybody happens, like oh look at oh look what was that in this scenario <laughs> my head about to be red there in the fucking video now aggressive assailant and apply handcuffs but it's not easy to make the scenario more challenging, cadets are matched up with assailants who are bigger and stronger than they are. Makes oh, sense. Makes fucking the objective sense. Is to try and grab the gun and baton from the cadets. Oh, duty you belt. fucked up. Oh, done. Scenario's over. Scenario's the over. The reason that we do You're this dead. is basically to uh, allow the police officer to reassess the totality of that situation. Yo. And now that Jeffrey hey. has raised. I'm gonna be 100% honest right now. This quick breakdown of defining why they do stuff is better than a lot of police instruction videos I've seen here in the United States. And that's not to dig at the fucking police officers here. I love my police officers. My goal coming out of the military is to become a police officer. Um, but this is actually really good. Uh, if you're in Canada, go become a fucking Mountie, bro. It looks sick. Oh, she Nobody got the fucking 70,000 in the fucking eye, bro. Police officers make mistakes. People get hurt. Oh, Some she of the got stuff fucked they up too. See and we'll see is not nice, and we need to help prepare them for that physically and mentally. real world shit. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Being exposed to pepper spray is a common part of law enforcement training, and it's no different in the RCMP. Oh god. Hey, do y'all want, want me to get, get fucking uh, pepper sprayed on camera? Should I end up doing that for one of these videos? If this video gets thirty thousand views, 
by fucking June 10th, I'll do the pepper spray. Shit, I really don't give a fuck. It's, it's too easy. Using pepper spray, so they understand essentially that it's painful, and so they understand <laughs> that it works, it's effective, boy's sucking, and bro. that they can fight through it if they are exposed. Uh, they then go into the actual chamber where it's been contaminated with pepper spray. Oh, yo. Okay. And uh, then they have to make an what are they doing? The subject. They're like, jazz hands. Jazz hands. Their eyes open ah, Cadets take it it is the worst part about pepper spray is that like one like two to three seconds where it's like that Cadets fucking actual the pain and the rest of it's just like the annoyance of it. Oh. Like to speak to a lawyer when we get back to the office. Yeah. The fucking snot becomes an icicle. When they're out there, after, <laughs> Yo, they're really getting it. I like this video. That they realize it's actually Woo. cold outside. Run hard. Everyone's gonna get superior today. Oh yeah. And it's used to determine superior a cadet's superior today. ability for duty. Even if you fail, we pass, eh? Hey? Pace yourself, buddy. The pair is the current job standard test that we use. It's the measure what the fuck of success was that? for fitness and physical. Oh whoa whoa whoa! Stop talking. Graduate. What was that shit? So if the cadet is unsuccessful, ability when cadet. Pair stands for physical ability requirement evaluation. Five steps, jump over a mat. Shut the fuck up. Everyone's gonna get superior today? Oh, yeah. And it's used to determine a cadet's physical ability for duty. Ready. Go. Pace yourself, buddy. What obstacle is there right there? I see two co three cones, two miniature horse jumper thingies that you see where the horses be jumping over shit, and a mat, and some stairs in the corner. If this is your physical fitness test, to everybody who can walk, you can become a Mountie. Pair is the current job standard test that we use. It's the measure of success for fitness and physical ability when cadets... The uh, measure of the success. So if the cadet is unsuccessful at pair, then they will not graduate from our program. I hope not. If you can't pass that, bro, you... The it could be disabled. Six set of stairs twice in each lap, as well as jumping over some lower hurdles and <laughs> going over a three foot barrier, laying on the ground and getting up. So they go through that. What the time, fuck is this shit? Called a push pull station that replicates that altercation. And they need to push and maneuver a weight six times. The weight is 70 pounds. That's probably like the only somewhat difficult thing, depending on your muscle. I know five year olds who could do this, they would have a blast. Hey, Cadets work with a dog handler. This is Bailey. She was my partner as a police dog. I spent seven years on the road with her as a police dog, and we were partners. That she dog's old as fuck. That's an old asshole. Simulate running with Ooh, I need to do a canine we fucking end up going video. Over a lot of fences. Military canine bad video. Bad That's some hot it's shit. Just the nature of how our work is. <laughs> Let me know what kind of dogs dog I got. Do we got any Belgian Malinois up in here? And so mm -hmm. there's uh, mm -hmm. certain ways to get the dogs Some over the fence. Some alligators up in this bitch. They utilize their harness, so what we usually do is get one She's person so at the top cute. of the fence and on top of the fence, and then I hand the dog up to them. And their job is to make sure she doesn't come back over the fence or jump down the oh, other side. So cute. Evelyn! Let everybody see you. Let everybody see you. You're too fat to get up here, huh? I gotta get closer to the camera. All right. So this is Evelyn. Oh, you can't see. This is Evelyn. Evelyn. All right. Evelyn, watch the video and narrate, okay? Very friendly right, about and very dog. easy to work Go. around. You're not going to say nothing? This is a bit of a learning tool Ow! to show them how to Go be around the dog. What the dog looks like. It's actually a <laughs> Yeah, she's canceled. She's never doing that again. Training. Fucking bitch. <laughs> point for this Let's fucking just step all over me. Cadets have to pass a rigorous inspection of their barracks. Oh man, dump it, dump it, dump Noting it, dump it, dump it, dump it. I better see some tits. fucking dumping. Cadets lay out all components of their dump duty truck in their beds. Dump truck. While a cow sacrificed their life for your belt, look what you've done to it. How they do present their pits and lay out their pits is an extension of themselves, and it does translate to other areas across the cadet training program. This is fairly militant. It is minus uh, 25 there's right some now, militant you're things out here in here. In a Cap. You're out here not prepared for duty. This entire troop will be a learning assistant. That stick, bro. I want to see what I want to see her beat the shit out of someone with the stick. Yay! Bro, he just launched the fucking clipboard, bro. In the drill hall, where cadets spend hours hey. practicing hey. marching, hey. maneuvers, hey. and customs. Hey. 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 It's an extremely valuable component of training here because it teaches cadets that sense of discipline. Um, self-control and composure. 
I do believe in good drill and ceremony. Okay, not like the actual like ceremony part, but the drill part, facing movement, staying in sync. I think it's extremely professional and looks outstanding when you do it right. You need to see a chiropractor or something. Put your feet forward. It's about <laughs> conditioning the mind. Simple commands. You look dumb as fuck. Fix you your feet. Threat, Clown have it ass. That stomp, bro. Stomp in the yard, bro. They said. Policing. The bottom Ooh. of the flap, all the way down here. Lower it, the bottom here. That's where it should be. Why are those things important in our uniform? Public perception of us. What happens if we have poor public perception? Lack of faith. It's not about buttons. And Good zippers. answers, it's bro. Not about marching. Everything has Fair. a connection back to Fair. policing. It Man, I should missing, do a video of like how we set up like our dress uniforms in the military, bro. Some of y'all would lose it, bro. Be like, that's a hair off, you dumb fuck. People are like, it's not that big a deal. It is. Drill practice culminates in a ceremony. Now. Yeah, they got the furry the Russian hats, bro. That's all I can like think of them as. Now they got the drill sergeant hats, Russian hats. And every week, there's a special uh, guest in attendance. I don't know what kind of hat that is. Bounties are known for their iconic scarlet tunic. This is the uniform you'll actually see a modern Mountie wearing on duty. What but a terrible fucking remains uniform. A defining characteristic. So that's literally just for DNC. Used as the formal Got it. attire for ceremonial events. Oh my god, clean. That must the be uniform a comes together here, where a team of more than 20 tailors alter the uniforms to the specific measurements of each cadet. We Bro, it's apart, such a pain in the ass. Together, like, you always have to have... I know for a fact, y'all always have to have your shit set up and ready to go. I still have my shit set up and ready to go. Huh? Always got to make sure your shit's clean because you never know when you're going to have to use it. Yeah. Or inspections are going to happen. see uh, the smile on their faces when they come in and, you know, get fitted. When they receive the tunics and they know that, you know, they're wearing a prestigious garments. The queen. The week before graduation, Cadets attend what's known as the regimental dinner held in the officer's mess. It's a tradition. That does not that look fun, bro. The importance of our history. Drink the blood of our enemies. Bro, what what you got in them the pants, bro? Y'all got some big old thighs, man. Part in the oath ceremony. This troop took their oaths in French. After taking the oaths, the cadets removed the epaulets from their uniforms. Uh, that must feel good. Hey, wear all of your masks, okay? We're in a fucking pandemic! They that feels good. Inches and they look Getting your so badge. Proud. And their families and their friends when they see them are so proud of what they've achieved. Canadians trust the RCMP and have for a very long time. Gee. It's fragile, and we have to make Gee. sure that we maintain that. I cannot be rocking them boots all day, bro. Even for drilling somewhere. Bro, that probably hurts the fuck out of your feet. And that's it. She. Well, there you go. Canadian Matthews. Guys, please continue to drop down the fucking requested videos. I do look at the comments. There's a lot that y'all are requesting. I try and, you know, do shit that'll somewhat fit the channel that we're all going to interest out of. And then I'm also going to start branching out to different types of videos that, you know, are fucking 100% irrelevant to the current shit we're doing. I actually just ended the video, but I'm filming this part right now to say subscribe to the channel. If you like the videos, like the videos. If you don't fucking dislike this shit, I don't care. Have fun watching it now. It's already over with. Bye. Big respects to the Mounties. Uh, Y'all's physical fitness uh, test is shit. Like I said, if this video gets... 30,000 views by June 10th, I'll do OC spray. Thanks for stopping by.